Yo, what's going on everybody? In today's video, we're doing our first and will be the show 23 video. It's gonna be a hitting tips video. I'm gonna show you exactly what I've done throughout the years uh, to stay consistently good at this game and you know, to elevate my game and stuff. What I did to elevate my game at first and then to keep it consistently at an elite level. So before we get into it completely, I'm gonna go ahead and show you my settings and then we'll move on from there. All right, so for settings, uh, we're talking about hitting, so we're gonna do hitting settings. We're gonna do hitting difficulty legend, uh, pitching difficulty legend as well. Uh, you wanna be playing at the highest level, even though you may be a lower you know, level player, like on all-star or borderline hall of fame player, uh, play events and stuff like that. In order to get better, you have to be practicing at the highest difficulty. Okay, there's just no way around. If you want to be the best you can be, you got to be on that highest difficulty. Our hitting interface is going to be zone and we don't like the PCI anchor. I don't use it at all. So I turn it off. However, it's this is all preference. Okay, you don't have the one thing you do have to do in order to be the best you can be is use zone. But when it comes to your settings like PCI anchor, this is all preference based. Okay, but I'm just showing you what I do. It's not necessary that, you know, saying it's the best possible thing. It doesn't make you the better hitter because you use this. This is just based off of preference. What's going to make you the best hitter is you finding something that works best for you uh, when it comes to like your settings as your PCI anchor, um, your PCI center. I use diamonds uh, and PCI inner. I use wedge. Okay. Uh, I have no outer PCI on. My color is yellow and transparency is at 50 with no, uh, I don't have a fade out. I don't like to have the extra the extra outer PCI and then a fade out. I just don't like it. So we stay with wedge and diamonds. I've been using wedge since LB 15. Uh, it's what feels the best for me. But again, this is something that you need to tinker with yourself and figure out what is best for you. Okay. Um, again, these are not settings that will make you hit the best. These are just settings that are preference based, my preference. We're going to go over to the sliders tab. And what I like to do is I'll go down to fastball pitch speed. Okay. And I like to crank it all the way up. All right. Um, here in the middle, when you play offline, it doesn't feel the same as online. When you get to online, you're going to feel like it's faster. Uh, when you crank it all the way up, it actually feels a little, you know, feels harder than when you play online. Uh, so you're getting used to that fastball pitch speed being all the way up uh, or sorry fastball pitch speed coming in hot okay it's it, it comes in really hot all right then for the off speed pitch speed okay i like to crank it up two notches um i think that the off speed pitch speed offline does not break the same and is slower than the one online um but when you crank it up two notches i found is that the break is better or it comes in harder so the break is sharper i should say that's what i like that's that's what i like to do with the off speed uh pitch speed is crank it up two notches from the middle so that it simulates better online play uh once you do that you can save them i'm not going to i already have them saved and i'm gonna exit without applying changes then lastly you go over to roster control and what i like to do is i'll take my favorite team which is I have it set as the Miami Marlins, and I'll tell you why when we get to the custom practice thing. And I like to move players onto this team that I use in Diamond Dynasty, okay? We don't have an option to practice in Diamond Dynasty with our Diamond Dynasty team. This is the best possible thing that we can do, all right? And they, ha they do have these, you know, three legend squads. Uh, so if you were using, like, let's say, David Ortiz on your team, there he is. You can just trade him over and boom like this and there you go you have david ortiz on that squad uh you were using chipper jones boom you would put chipper jones over and so on and so forth uh you can mostly put every player uh there may be some that you might not find but you can usually put every player okay i'm not gonna need to do that because i've already made my roster but that's for the hitters now for the pitchers i like to face pitchers that i'm facing in diamond dynasty as well so what i like to do is i'll go to the next team over for my favorite team which is the Braves in this instance. And then I will trade over uh, the pitchers that I will be facing. So like Randy Johnson, whenever he comes out, I would have put him. Last year, I had Randy Johnson since the beginning of the year. Um, you know, right now, you go over to free agents, you can actually find Roki Sazaki. He doesn't have the same pitches, but you can edit him. I'll show real quick how to do that. Uh, you can edit it to make him have the pitches that he needs, but there you go. You can put Roki Sazaki or Somebody that I always like to put is Corbin Burns. Uh, reason being is because he has a sinker cutter combo. Uh, sinker cutter are the two 
uh, most important, the most important pitches that you need to be hitting. Um, so I like to always have Corbin Burns over here. And then another guy I like to have as well, even though you might not face him that much right now, because there's no 99 of his, but Jacob DeGrom is another guy I like to face. Reason being is because he has outlier on his four seam. Three most important pitches, in my opinion, that you need to be able to recognize. And uh, if you can, you know, get very good at recognizing those pitches off rip, are the outlier, sinker, and a cutter. If you can hit those pitches well, everything else is just a slight adjustment with the slider being right behind it. If they throw a hard slider, this is another good thing about Jacob DeGrom, he throws a hard slider. Um, you know, those are the tougher sliders to hit, but everything is a little bit of adjustment after that, but sinker, cutter, and four seam with the outlier are the toughest pitches in my opinion to hit and what people like to look for and use when they're using uh, pitchers in Diamond Dynasty. So we'll just have those guys here. We'll accept roster changes. Let's just do this, 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 so I can get out of here. So like Suzaki doesn't have the exact pitches that he uses. So what you would do is just go over to Suzaki, edit player, or sorry, you go to edit player, go to the Braves, Suzaki's there attributes pitch types you can put whatever pitches you want right um he throws a instead of a two seam he throws a sinker it doesn't even matter where you put him he throws a cutter only thing you're gonna have to do is go over to pitching they have no attributes so you're just gonna have to you know fix his attributes to get it like uh like so all right like what he has in diamond dynasty which would be he has an outlier and a sinker you're not gonna be able to simulate that because you cannot add outlier to when you're editing a player but you can try to you can put the sinker as fast as possible and then the cutter uh he doesn't have outlier on it but just make sure you look at those pitch speeds and and try to get them pretty similar okay i don't need to save this because i already have a, a roster made um but anyways next we're going to jump into the custom practice we'll get to it here shortly all right so now we're in custom practice the reason i said to choose your favorite team as the one for hitters and the choose your uh a team right next to your favorite team is because once you scroll over here the miami marlins are there so i'm gonna go to go to the braves real quick right now i got the marlins and and right there so all it takes is two clicks of the button all it takes is two clicks of the button and you you got what you need um so we go to the right we're gonna go ahead put the braves and i go back to the marlins and now i'm the away i like to be the away team because you're already on the field to hit right away okay so we're gonna do that and we're gonna go pick a stadium that we're using i've been using uh the shield woods park and also this hatch and motor field these are new minor league stadiums they have pretty damn good elevation uh, we're gonna use hatch and motor it actually has 3200 elevation so that's kind of a field that i might be using um you like you can use the use the field that you're gonna be hitting uh using the most as you see, we have Roki Suzaki off rip, okay? And I already loaded, you gotta load your sliders. You're gonna wanna save those slider settings and then you have to load them before, load your roster before so you can get into the custom practice. All right, so now we're in BP, right? Facing Roki, so we're gonna face Roki Suzaki, a pitcher that I've never seen, but I know he's gonna be in a lot of rotations, probably every rotation to be honest. And as you see here, we got pitch frequency. Uh, which they they added that the way they're doing it this year with these bars is different, but they added that where you can pit, pitch pick the exact pitch you would like to see consistently. And like I said, sinker, cutter, and four seam outlier, the toughest pitches. Now, Sasaki doesn't have outlier, right? So I'm not gonna use him for the outlier to practice against, but I'm gonna use him for the cutter, okay? Or, and the sinker. Uh, but I wanna, I always like to start off with sinkers inside with righties. Um, so I'll just start off by warming up. Um, with all these, when you click all these zones right here, it means it's only gonna throw it in those zones, all right? It could be randomly every zone. Now, if you only pick the high zone, it's gonna be the only the high zone. But I like to start warming up because righty on righty, inside sinkers, people like to throw. It's the toughest, you know, one of the toughest things to do is to turn on a sinker inside righty on righty in the game. Uh, a lot of people struggle with that. Um, so what I like to do is I'm gonna turn those on, put the frequency all the way up with sinkers. He's only gonna throw sinker inside for a strike. However, this year, as opposed to last year's, which I love this edition, is you can put these all these outside zones, which will end up being balls, right? Uh, this is a good thing because those sinkers, not only are they tough on an inside righty on righty, but they're also tough to lay off of, you know, a lot of people, you know, chase them when they're, cause they're breaking inside the strike zone. They, they're, they're starting inside the strike zone then end up breaking outside the strike zone. Um, and you're so like trying to be so quick and so fast to these sinkers inside that, you know, you have to be able to, learn to differentiate between it being a strike and ball however just to start off with we're going to do this so that uh we can just get warmed up right now we're just trying to get warmed up a little bit we're taking our first couple swings and as you see we're just laid on it 
Um, and again, we're using Derek Jeter because we're going to end up using him on our squad. There we go. I, I would I like to be either early or good timing. That means my timing is fine. See? There's an early swing. That's good. I'd rather be early than late. I'd much rather be early than late. We're right on it. We just got to fix our timing a little bit, but we can adjust back to the good time. And when we're late, that's the issue. There's a perfect, perfect. Boom. Our first perfect, perfect. So we're just going to keep doing this for a little bit. I don't know. Maybe I do it for like three or five minutes, depending how I feel that day. If I'm doing poorly, we'll take it a little bit longer just to see that sinker. Oh, that you see right there that that was bad swing we're late um but that's what we just like to do in order to get going and get our reps in uh before we get into ranked or anything like that or just if you're feeling off you know this is something you might want to go do as well or if you need to get better this is exactly what you need to be doing taking our swings we're not doing great but that's what bp's for right to get the bad swings out the way we're very early so now we just you know we're we're starting to get too early on it so we make adjustment try to stay back a little bit now we stay too much back just late i mean it's just late but as you can see look how small the pci is you're gonna have a bigger pci too when you're using these guys in diamond dynasty because their contact rating and all that is way higher than what these guys offline is and there's another good swing so let's say we had a progression of five seven minutes we did pretty good um now i would like to do these outside zones on inside sinkers so now it makes me not only have to turn on it but also be cognizant that he could throw balls and practice seeing that differentiating between a strike and a ball I mean, that wasn't a bad swing, but we were a little bit off of it. That's cool with me. Good timing. All right. Just making sure that it, it didn't uh, unregister. Sometimes if you forget to press start, it doesn't do it. I didn't see right there. Boom. I took that pitch. That is good. This is good. Such a good addition. You that like I said that inside sinker off the plate to a righty is such a tough. Um... Sorry, the differentiate between a strike and the ball it's a it can get very uh messy especially slightly off the plate if you can differentiate those pitches you're going to be a thousand percent ahead of the curve but we're sitting here over top over here talking and missing these balls too late get one more swing in get a good swing in and move on to the next subject good take now one thing i haven't said is i like to start my pci slightly up and in but that's preference based you can start it wherever you would like um you know that's just what i've been doing for the longest time again everything that i've been doing i've been doing it since mlb the show 15 okay um but you can find whatever works for you the best is what you should go with one thing i just remember that i forgot to mention in my settings i like to use strike zone hitting okay strike zone hitting again that's also preference based but i think strike zone hitting is the best hitting um view that there is and right there we miss we're gonna take one more no matter what yeah we're just off right now but as you see look how small that pci is man that's tough that's also tough these guys being offline having those lower contact ratings is definitely tough we finished the inside portion of things now we take it all off we worked on that inside we're good now if i take it all off he can throw that sinker anywhere he wants so now i gotta be able to react outside inside everything right boom that was down the middle that would have been a base hit we're good um with that being said obviously you want to practice outside sinkers as well there's uh we're late is that gonna stay fair though that no, was foul that was terrible anyways you're gonna have want to practice outside sinkers as well and that's what exactly you want it to be you want it to be hard so it makes it easy for the game so next like i said cutters tough pitch too for righties cutters away are the pitches that people like to throw not to say that they won't throw front door cutters but you're gonna see more cutters away because they want you to get roll up get you to roll them over right so first we're gonna do the same thing except opposite we're gonna start away the zones in the strike zone boom I'd rather be late on these than early because if I'm early, I'm going to roll it over. If I'm late, at least I have a chance to take it the other way. Right there, that was the damn seed down the line. That would have been a base hit. 
Like right there, I was early. I would have rolled that shit over if I didn't just foul it off. All right, we'll take one more, one good swing. I'm early again. That's the thing about cutters. The, the inside sinker you have to be quick on and outside cutters, especially the slower ones like the, like Suzaki throws, you have to be, uh, you have to be able to weigh back on it. But that was a good swing right there. We'll move on to the next. Oh. Um, another thing that we like to, now we get to implement these outside zones. So. That's another pitch that is tough to take. Those outside cutters, we have to be able to differentiate between them being strikes and balls. Right there, I did not do it. That's bad on me. But that's what BP is for. It's something to get going really well and recognizing these pitches. That was a board line. That's, if it's two strikes, you gotta swing at that type of pitch right there. If it's early in the count, that's a pitch you don't wanna you don't want to swing at. But right now, we're having trouble distinguishing right there that slightly out the zone. It's not the easiest pitch to be able to distinguish. Again, that would have been a ball. Again, that's a two strike pitch where it's like, I got to try to foul it off because I don't know if it's a strike or ball. But this that's what BP is for right now, right? That's what BP is for. Keep doing this. You may be able to recognize what's a strike or ball at a really consistent rate. All right, well... He keeps throwing balls anyway. We'll move on to the next thing. He, he's been throwing, he's been throwing way more, but like I think out of 10 pitches, Suzaki threw maybe two strikes, if that. Uh, but anyways, once we finish that, you want to practice front door cutters because they are tough to hit. So you would do the same thing, and then you would end it off by taking out all the zones. And uh, there's the front door cutter. Just be able to practice all the zones where he could throw it anywhere outside the zone and and he can also throw uh, strikes anywhere inside the zone. Right there is a base hit. We'll move on. I'm pretty sure by now you're catching the gist. Then, you know, if you want to practice, you're going to want to do that as well because you're going to use lefties in the game, facing righties, of course. Uh, same things. There, people are still throwing sinkers, cutters. Uh, the toughest pitch, in my opinion, to hit as a sinker is going to be the outside pitches. A lot of people like to throw those outside pitches. Um, for sinkers uh so you do the same thing i'm just gonna i do the, this is what i do as well i'll put the sinkers all the way to start off with inside the zone and he's gonna blow it right the fuck by me all right there's an absolute piece so anyway same thing outside sinkers off the plate you're gonna want to do that you know those are pitches that again tough to differentiate between be able to differentiate between a strike and a ball on a cutter coming in on your hands. Um, that is a big strikeout pitch. Those cutters, that cutter was absolutely gross. That thing started out here and, it, and it, I knew it was going to come inside, but it still started so far outside. Man, can we just go back to that first swing? All right, now, of course, with the inside sinker, we're gonna either wanna be early or good. If we're late, we're fucked. There's an absolute piss rocket. And then this is the biggest one of the addition that I absolutely love is be able to practice those outside, or sinker, or sorry, those cutters in on your hands off the plate completely. Um, and with the inside as well, this is something that you have to learn how to differentiate if you can learn this is the this is probably in my opinion the toughest uh the cutter coming in off the plate inside from a righty to a lefty might be the toughest pitch that people um cannot take on a consistent basis okay if you can do that right there be able to do that on a consistent basis even you're gonna you're gonna mess up if you can get at least 70 percent of times where you take those outside those cutters outside the zone that's gonna make your opponent think and be like shit he's not really chasing these cutters and then they might go away from it but because those cutters are definitely the toughest those inside cutters laying off of it is definitely in my opinion the toughest take of the game so we went through the righty, the lefty, and then vice versa. If you want to, you're going to want to also do the same things you did for a righty. You're going to also want to do it for lefty on lefty, work on those sinker cutter, work on those sinker cutter pitchers, lefty on lefty. And then obviously the uh, outlier fastball 
outlier fastball guys against lefty on lefty as well and work the same way except opposite inside sinkers first progress to outside sinkers progress to the whole entire zone outside cutters and lefties lefty on lefty um you know do the same thing except vice versa lefties uh where's he at there's the grom final guy give me that fastball wolf they, i would do the same thing with the grom and his outlier fastball outside fastballs people like to throw that is absolute you see how freaking that is absolute gas what's coming in with these uh sliders all the way up it is a thousand it is definitely faster than in game so with that being said um Oh, that's an absolute piece. Once you get in game, it's going to be way easier for you. Same thing, practice the outside. And then lastly, with a guy like, with a guy like Jacob DeGrom, another tough take in my opinion is a hard slider like Jacob DeGrom has inside coming into a lefty. Um, they're kind of like, they kind of act like the cutters, except they, you know, obviously you have a bigger break, so you can read them a little bit quicker than the cutters in my opinion. But it's the same thing. These are strikeout pitches that people like to throw uh these sliders off the plate those sliders off the plate inside are pitches that you know everyone likes to throw in my opinion to try to get strikeouts right there if you're able to recognize again recognize that pitch at least seven out of ten times and take it seven out of ten times it will make your opponent pitch into you look at that i just swung at a stupid ass slider um it'll make a, your opponent pitching to you that much harder that was, like I said, these sliders from a guy like um, every slider, but especially guys that throw it like DeGrom does in the uh, 90s range are tough for sliders, obviously, because they come in that much faster and they tunnel way better with hard fastballs. That's an absolute dot. Eventually, 10 out of 10, there's, I mean, I'm not gonna say 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10 times, because let's be honest, you're gonna have a mishap. You're never gonna be perfect. Um, but if you can get again, damn, why am I late on that? And why did that go so far? That literally just one hop the fence on a late swing. There we go. Great swing right there. Ended on that one. Uh, but anyways, just to go over it, settings. Settings, you wanna have it on legend. Hitting interface zone. From the PCI anchor down, that's all preference on your end. Mine is off on PCI anchor, diamonds, uh, PCI inner wedge, uh, no outer, yellow color, PCI transparency 50, PCI fade out none. Obviously, guest pitch, by, I don't like having vibration on my controller, so I turn that off. Um, and then hitting view strike zone and in play view high, that doesn't affect anything in the, when you hit the ball, it doesn't affect anything. It's just my personal preference, okay? The two things that you do have to use in my, or not have to, but the one you have to use in my, or not in my opinion, in everybody's probably opinion, is zone hitting all the top players. That's what they use. You should be using zone hitting. That is the only way you're gonna get the best out of yourself. Uh, and then hitting view, it's your preference. I do like strike zone the most. I've been using it since LB15. Uh, but again, it's preference based. Uh, but a lot of the top players, again, I will say use strike zone. So. Uh, just, you know, take that. And then again, this PCI anchor stuff and all that, that is your preference. Uh, a lot of guys switch that up. There's no one meta thing um, that there's out there for uh, the PCI and stuff like that. And then with the pitching, again, toughest pitches to hit. Righty on righty sinkers inside. Lefty on lefty sinkers inside, obviously. Cutters away, righty on righty. Cutters away, lefty on lefty. Outlier fastball away to lefties and inside it. I mean, outlier fastball just in general, um, but they, you know, people like to throw that away to lefties, inside to righties. Same thing with like the sinker and cutter. Take away those three pitches, learn how to hit that outlier, that sinker and a cutter, and you're already gonna be at least 50 to 70% better of what you were before. You can take away those three pitches and learn how to hit them on a consistent basis and learn how to take them on a consistent basis. It's gonna make pitching to you so difficult because those are the most OP pitches in the game. Um, and then obviously the hard sliders are OP, you know, are tough pitches to hit as well. So you got to work on those. And then everything else you can work on, of course, the circle chains, the curveball, but I don't think those pitches come close to the level of what the outlier fastball sinker cutter are at and even a good hard slider with a hard break. Um, those four pitches are the toughest with the three being 
the most meta used. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope this video helps a ton and makes you the best you can be, okay? I'll catch you in the next one. Appreciate you guys watching. Love y'all. Peace.